Sound check, John. Do you got your ears on out there? Hello. How's it going, sir? Good. I can hear you. Nice. Good. I just uh, shared the video on my page. Can you hear me okay? I can hear you perfectly, yeah. All right, cool. Take I have, uh, yeah, another seven minutes. We'll go live, John. I'm just uh, getting all the sound. But go Who ahead is that? Go ahead and play away. <laughs> If you want to uh, tune up and you just... Should I play? Yeah, oh, I'm getting uh, myself coming back with a big... What's... Oh, I know why. Sorry, I got Facebook open. That's why. It's I have it shared on my page, and apparently it started playing. And I was like, why am I hearing myself at... on a delay? Okay, sorry. <laughs> no worries. I'm a bit no slow worries. with computers. Okay, I'll play a bit. <laughs> if you want to do... Str yeah, strum a little bit, and uh, just it'll be another seven minutes yet, so... Okay. It's all right. Special shots. My name is John. Tonight we have a great guest lined up for you. His name is John McClure, and if you're not familiar with John, you may recognize him from um, with many bands. Uh, and I'm going to go back primarily uh, to Turpin's Trail, and prior to Turpin's Trail, um, Crooked Wood, and uh, John and those guys, Chris and Steve, played at the Cottage Coffee House many a Wednesday uh, over the years. Um, John has played many a Pringle Palooza, and I think he even played my uh, sister's housewarming party one time. So uh, great to have John McClure on the show tonight. Singer, songwriter, nominated for many awards, many accolades, uh, followed John around. He's just a great guy, um, beautiful guitar player, and a great singer. So enjoy tonight. The show is his. I'm just here to moderate it and make sure the sound uh, is good and the audio looks fine. So enjoy tonight's show. Listening to Espresso Shots Live. Tune in every Wednesday at 7:30 p.m. for your digital caffeine. It's a little too on the nose, if you ask me. I mean, no, no, it's gonna be fine, did, and you so. look fabulous. Okay. okay, here we go, and action! <sighs> All right, John, how's hey. it going, bud? Hello, good. How's it going? How are you, John? Uh, I'm Thank you for great. that lovely introduction. 
Hey. I love. I'm. Uh, I'm just coming down from that intro, like Kermit and everything. My goodness, that was awesome. <laughs> Nothing but the best here on Expresso Shots right. Live. <laughs> so you're. Uh, where are you tonight, John? Tell us where you're at. Where? Well, I'm in my. I'm in my pad. I'm in my house here in Kingston, in uh, the the northern part of Kingston. And uh, yeah, this is pretty much the only place I've been. You know, uh, my girlfriend Anthea and I have been on here upwards of 14 hours a week, entertaining the masses on uh, our Facebook page. And other than that, there hasn't been a whole lot going on, honestly, in the last, well, since this last lockdown began. Um, you know, right now things are starting to obviously get a little bit more mobile and stuff, but you know, still keeping it pretty quiet for sure nice i'm but. gonna hand this show over to you and uh sure i'll, I'll just i'll be here <laughs> great all right well thank you very much and i do appreciate those kind words at the beginning and uh, i'm just gonna give you some songs here i'll start off with one that uh you know you'll probably recognize and i'll do a few of my own as well and i'm gonna start off with a bob dylan song this is called don't think twice it's all right I'm sure you've heard this one before. Tap your foot, sing along if you want. I haven't played harmonica on this for a long time, so if, if it doesn't sound that good, well, not much I can do about it, but I'll try my best. Ain't no use to sit and wonder why, babe. If you don't know by now Ain't no use to sit and wonder why, babe It don't matter anyhow When your rooster crows at the break of dawn Look out your window and I'll be gone You're the reason I'm traveling on don't think twice, it's all right. Ain't no use in calling out my name, gal, like you never done before. Ain't no use in calling out my name, gal, cause I can't hear you anymore. I'm thinking and wondering, walking down the road, I once loved a woman. A child, I'm told, I'd give her my heart, but she wanted my soul. But don't think twice, it's all right. Calling out my name, gal, like you never done before. Ain't no use calling out my name, gal. I can't hear you anymore. Thinking and wondering as I'm walking down the road. Once loved a woman, a child untold. I give her my heart. But she wanted my soul But don't think twice It's alright And it's so Long honey baby Where I'm bound I can't tell Goodbye is too good a word babe I'll just say Fare thee well I ain't saying you treated me unkind Could have done better, but I don't mind You just kind of wasted my precious time But don't think twice, it's all right Bob Dylan for you to start things off. 
Love it. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Uh, maybe I'll do a, one by the Pogues. Well, it's not by the Pogues, but I think you mentioned you liked this one, John, the other day. It's uh, one of my favorite songs. It's written by a guy from... Well, he grew up just outside of Manchester, England, and he wrote the song about where he grew up, and it's a really pretty song. It's like a love song to a town, and uh, it's a bit of a backhanded one because he calls it a dirty old town. So here it is, uh, Ewan McCall's Dirty Old Town. I'll attempt a bit of harmonica on this one as well. Yeah. Well, yeah, it was way back. It was, I think they did that one like in 1987 or something. Nice. Now, listen, John, so, yeah. as you probably remember, I'm a huge John Prine fan. And I got to, uh, oh, yes. I gave you a nice compliment at the beginning. I was going through your uh, website and I got to, I got to commend you for still being on uh, MySpace. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I ha yeah, I guess I am still on MySpace, but I think I, I, all the f music's gone, right? Are you the only one? Or is one? it still? Because 
pretty much. I mean, the 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 page is still there, but I think MySpace had a server migration that went wrong, and everything like got, I think like everything got deleted. Yeah. So it's there, but I don't think you can actually still play the music. But, but yeah, that's that page would be probably thirteen years old or something or more. <laughs> yeah. I was looking yeah. at I, I remember it used to play a lot of John Prine stuff and uh big John Prine yeah. fan and we lost John Prine to COVID nineteen actually um last year. Yeah. And uh, so I wonder if you might yeah. do a John Prine tune. Sure. Do you have a specific one you want to hear, John, or uh there's a John Fest here. Get, get, I know I'll I'll only pick <laughs> one more. <laughs> yeah. Uh I uh fish and whistle? Whistling you bet. Fish. You got it. Here's a John Prine song played by John for John. Hope you all enjoy it. Fish and Whistle. This is one of my favorites. I think this is really like captures John Prine's songwriting genius. I mean, they all do because he. So I think I, I don't. I don't think I've ever heard a bad John Prine song ever. But this one really, I think, sums up his his whole outlook on life and everything. And yeah, mm -hmm. this is Fish and Whistle. I've been thinking lately about the people I meet The car wash on the corner, the hole in the street The way my ankles hurt, the shoes on my feet And I'm wondering if I'm gonna see tomorrow Father, forgive us for what we must do You forgive us, we'll forgive you We'll forgive each other till we both turn blue Then we'll whistle and go fishing in heaven Fish and whistle, whistle and fish Eat everything that they put on your dish When we get through We'll make a big wish that we never have to do this again, again, again. Oh, I was in the army, but I never dug a trench. Used to bust my knuckles on a monkey wrench. Go to town and drink, give the girls a pinch, but I don't think they ever even notice me. Father, forgive us for what we must do. You forgive us, we'll forgive you. We'll forgive each other till we both turn blue. Then we'll whistle and go fishing in heaven. Fish and a whistle, whistle and fish Eat everything that they put on your dish When we get through, we'll make a big wish That we never have to do this again Again, again my very first job, I said thank you and please and Made me scrub a parking lot down on my knees Then I got fired for being scared of bees And they only gave me 50 cents an hour Father, forgive us for what we must do You forgive us, we'll forgive you We'll forgive each other till we both turn blue Then we'll whistle and go fishing in heaven Fish and whistle, whistle and fish, eat everything that they put on your dish. When we get through, we'll make a big wish that we never have to do this again, again, again. Oh, Father, forgive us for what we must do. You forgive us, we'll forgive you. We'll forgive each other till we both turn blue. Then we'll whistle and go fishing in heaven. Whistle and go fishing in heaven. Whistle and go fishing in heaven. Fish and Whistle by John Prine. The great John Prine. I'm going to have a little sip here. <laughs> have a sip. What's, what's in your cup today, John? What are you drinking? This is hot chocolate. What is this, Anthea? This is Camino hot chocolate. Yeah. It's good. It's a good hot chocolate to take on a walk. It'll <laughs> fortify you. It's good. I don't know where did you get this stuff. I only just had this. I think it's both the kind that I got you for your birthday. I saw it at the general store. I got that at Glen Burnie Grocery. This is from Glen Burnie Grocery, everybody. I love that store. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, great store. Going there my whole life. Yeah. What are you having, John? Well, listen, 
uh, you you think of a song to play, and and I'll and I'll do this here while you're thinking of the next song. I'll run this, and I'll tell you what's in my cup. Okay. Nice. <laughs> so, so it made my cup. I'm having uh, 49th Parallel Coffee from the Cottage Coffee House. Oh, very nice. And my that moderator, my moderator sitting over here beside me, um, is yeah. having. What are you having, Cynthia? Four shots of espresso. Me and the latte. She's having a double shot of espresso, John. <laughs> oh my goodness, that sounds nice. That's very cool. But you guys are having some some classy drinks. We are. That's awesome. We uh, we actually went out the other day to a coffee shop in Kingston. We just got a cat about two weeks ago, and we went and got a cappuccino. And the the person that made it put like an actual picture of the cat on, like not our cat, but a cat that looks a lot like our cat on the top of the cappuccino. So like that was pretty cool. Yeah, cappuccino exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. So I don't. Know. Yeah, she, her name's Toasty. She's kind of shy right now. She's still getting used to the place. And I was playing an accordion earlier, so that kind of scared her off. So she's hiding somewhere. But yeah. So, well, I guess I'll do. What do I, why don't I do a Lightfoot song? What do you think about that? Might do a one of Lightfoot's songs if I can get the right key here. This is one of early early Lightfoot songs, and this is when he was kind of not not successful. This was actually the song that got him, I think, to break through and get a bit of success with some cover versions and stuff that people did, like Peter, Paul, and Mary. This is Early Morning Rain, so this is one written when he was kind of just starting it. So. <clears throat> I got the wrong harmonica, sorry. Maybe you lost the internet. Check your browser, what you what is what is pulling up. You may want to default to uh, up on the top corner there. Is it on the Spring Street Suites or is that a chip? Okay. I think I got the right harp. Westward bound. 
high above the clouds, and she'll fly. Where the morning rain don't fall, where the sun always shines, she'll be flying over my home in about three hours' time. Well, this old airport's got me down. It's no earthly good to me. Cause I'm stuck here on the ground. As cold and drunk as I could be. Well, you can't jump a jet plane. Like you can't a freight train. I must be on my way in the early morning rain. Yes, you can't jump a jet plane like you can a freight train. So I must be on my way in the early morning rain. Gordon Lightfoot, Canada's own. Thanks. So uh, well. you're uh, happy to see this, uh, the ban lifted a little bit in Ontario, John? You, you feeling comfortable that maybe in the early morning summer that you'll be back out and about and playing some live shows? Well, I'd like to hope so. I think, uh, I don't know. I mean, you, don't, you never know, right? I mean, it, it could just, it could go back the other way and we might just be like in springtime in lockdown again. I mean, I'd be happy to play in the summer if possible, you know, if it's safe and it's clear to do so. But I don't know. At the, at the moment, just right now, I'm not really looking for gigs, you know, off offline like real life gigs too much yeah. you know i'm kind of thinking there's this variant out there and that like the, the the new variant and i'm a little worried about about that so you know but yeah i'm hoping that as things progress like there'll be something of a summer you know which would be great for for all of us it'd be great for you know for kingston and, and westport because so much of so much of uh you know what kingston and westport thrive on is music and and outdoor entertainment and stuff. So I figured they can just space everything out, right? And do some outdoor events and, and figure something out so that everybody's spaced out and whatever. Yeah. But I'm hopeful. What was the last live show you played? The last live show I played? I don't even know. Do you remember the last live show I played, Anthea? Like COVID live show or live show before, well, be, the, last before the lockdown? Well, I did one on Wolf Island. Yeah, I just remember the last one. Actually, yeah, the last one I played was on Wolf Island, and it was for the farmers, the ecological, I can't remember exactly what it was, the Ecological Farmers Association or something to that effect. And we did a, uh, it was actually, oh wait, that wasn't a, that wasn't an actual gig, was it? That was a, that, that was the last time you played with an actual gig. That was the last time I played with a human being. <laughs> Obviously, COVID has muddled my mind. Okay, no, it was RCHA Club. So the last time I played with people who weren't in my like immediate small bubble was... What? Well, yeah, I was talking about the one with the farmers. So I was playing with Tara Frost over on Wolf Island and Jason Mercer, who are a couple of friends from, from over that way. And, you know, great musicians. So we had this gig with uh, with the Farmers Association folks. And so those were people that I don't, uh, you know, live with that I played with back then. But as far as, uh, as far as, yeah, we played RCHA back in whoever, whenever that was, you know, back in the late summer in September. September. And that was, that was cool. Cause I hadn't been in the RCHA for so long. I used to play there like all the time. So it was like, it was nice to go back, but it felt weird being back in that, in that space. Like it was like, that was when you really notice how much the pandemic has kind of 
made it feel like there's this huge chunk of time missing, you know, from our lives. So, but it was, that was the last one. It was groovy. It was a good show. But getting used to playing like with the tarp thing in front of us was was different, but it was it was good. Obviously necessary, so it was, yeah. I was going to turn you up a little bit, John. I had a couple of comments here. Along oh, sure. So you just to turn things up a little bit, so I just cranked you up a little bit. So. Oh, okay. Go. Cool. All right. You want me to play another song? I'll play one of mine. This is like a one of my most rocking ones. You probably notice I'm pretty mellow most of the time. <laughs> most of my songs are pretty low key that I write. You know, they tend to be finger picking ones. But this one is almost like a Motown song, really. It's my tribute to Motown. Not really, but it's got it's got a bit of a four on the floor beat at one point that my band used to refer to as the Motown section of it back when I had a band. Mm -hmm. Montreal. Oh, once I walked alone in old Montreal. It was late summer, it was early fall, and I met an undertaker where the pillars full of salt and a shaker full of dust. Now, as I Come around once again. Well, the bus drew down in Chinatown. He knows how I feel. And a song was like an onion that he left for me to peel. He said time, it enters slowly, like a snake around your heel. This I already knew. How was I to know that you would come around? Once again. And the lights of the night were birds with daylight. Songs of the dawn, they didn't last long. In a blue cafe, I was listening to a payphone, and it didn't have much to say. And I tipped my hat twice, said I must be on my way. Down halls of limestone gray. Now as I to know that you come around. Once again, how was I to know that you come around? Once again, all right, that's old Montreal. That's my song that I wrote after I visited there. 
And that's the whole story. It's not too interesting a story, but that's that's true though. <laughs> so John, you won uh, you won some awards as well. Um, singer songwriter awards. Uh, maybe you can talk a bit about that. Uh, I know it's a while back, but yeah. Well, I've uh, I've really only won one, I guess. I, mean, I don't think I've even won multiple ones, but I won one back in... It was a special one because I actually won a nice guitar. Uh, way back in 2010, I, there's a contest in Nashville. There's a magazine called American Songwriter Magazine, and they take... Uh, contribute or they take uh, contestants from Canada as well so I sent in um, some song lyrics for a song that I'd written called someone thinks of you and I thought this is the song that probably has a decent chance of getting at least I don't know like it's my at least it's the song that I had the best chance I thought of getting any kind of recognition for um, through this magazine because it kind of has a country feel to it so so I sent it in, and uh, the way this contest works is every time they put out an issue of the magazine every month, they award, or every, I guess it's every two months, yeah, they put out six contests a year, but they award, uh, um, you know, a prize to one contestant or whatever. So I put in, it was July, August of 2010 that I put in the song Someone Thinks of You, and I got a Martin guitar. So it was pretty, pretty sweet, and... Nice. Uh, and that's other than that i guess i've had a few kind of mentions honorable mentions in other contests and stuff like that but uh yeah that's the one that i that i managed to get a prize out of which was pretty nice so i like the reference in that song to um it's, it's regards to being wealthy and and that a poor man can't hold what a wealthy man has in his mind. Um, a poor man yeah. has that. And I like, I like that line. I like that concept a lot. Oh, thanks very much. Yeah, I like, uh, yeah, I just got the whole message of the song is this kind of, I don't know. I guess it sort of sounds like one of those, it kind of has the country feel of being like mildly bitter about a past relationship, like the person who's writing the song is sort of like a humble person, which is a lot of country songs are like that. Like they kind of portray the values of, of kind of low key living in the small community living. And then this other person that the song is sort of addressed to has kind of gone on to become kind of a highfalutin high roller of some sort. So it's kind of like the crystal chandeliers or something like that in a way. I never really thought of that. So I guess that's why the, the Nashville judges took to it. So, nice. yeah. How about you? Just how about you? Just an old country song. You talk a bit about Nashville. I know. Uh, I know you've got some country roots there, John. Yeah, for sure. I uh, I grew up surrounded by country imagery, so I think that creeps into my songs. And um, I grew up just north of Elgenburg, uh, just north of Kingston. And yeah, I don't know where I grew up, where we lived is all surrounded by farm fields and, and so on. So I, you know, it's a nice, really nice place to grow up as a kid and be out there. And uh, the farmers gave us, uh, the folks gave us the, their blessing to just walk all over their, their land. So it was really nice. There's a lot of, a lot of elbow room out there. So yeah, I'll do a country song. Just listen to Jeff Code. I used to, when I was a kid, I listened to Jeff Code <laughs> and yeah. I even requested. I'm gonna actually play the song. I think this is the song that I requested. I can't remember. I know I requested a Hank Williams song one time. I did call in when I was a kid. I was probably pretty shy, but I called up Jeff Kovitz show and I said, "I want to hear a Hank Williams song." So I'll play one of those. I'll play "You Win Again." This is probably one of my top favorite Hank songs. I can't pick just one, but it's it's near the top. So here's "You Win Again" by Hank Williams Sr. <laughs> Bye. 
nobody knew but me. Just trust in you was my great sin. What can I do? You that I should not complain I love you still you win again I love you still you win again Hank Williams that's uh, I've done that one <laughs> that's a pr- that's a pretty one for sure. That's a great Hank Williams song, John. Listen, yeah. you're uh, you're stuck in your four walls. Um, you're not out. You're like every musician and artist um, getting paid. However, you can get paid. I know a lot of people have tip jars that play in line. Uh, do you have a tip jar? Can people send you a tip, John? Or how does that work? Uh, sure. Yeah, you could, I'd be more than happy. I won't. I won't argue if anybody wants to. I do uh, PayPal. I do e-transfers um so either one of those is just fine i mean that's great you know that people want to do that um should i just put it in the on the page or type it in under the comment or something or do you want me to yeah i'll share it, it if you or... send it to me john after the show i'll uh, i'll put it in the comment section and yeah if anybody i mean Perfect. nobody likes to beg for money and uh, i do this for free too <laughs> but it's always nice when um people do tip and and and, and, and you know, especially in these times yeah. when you can't get out and play, and and um, yeah, you know, it's tough. Yeah, well, I mean, the the community has been great for sure. You know, it's it's amazing. Um, you know, playing online, people are always reminding me to put my tip information on if I do a Facebook show, and so yeah, it's been pretty great. You know, it is hard times for musicians for sure, and depending on circumstances, but you know, it's been. It's a good community around here for sure in Westport, mm-hmm. just like Kingston. It's just great. And back before the lockdown, the Cove was a really neat place that we got to do a couple of gigs up there, and and that was really fun to to do that too. So yeah, yeah, you guys got a bit of a a bit of a Celtic background with uh, you and Chris, and I know St. Patty's Day is coming up next, uh, so that would be the next one that we, yeah. we may miss. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, that was, and that'll be a full year because that's that's where the whole thing started last year. We were on our way to a St. Patrick's Day gig and out in Napanee, and we ended up being able to play that one because that was the day when when uh, when it looked like you know everything had to shut down. And then, but the, that rest of that week was normally we play like kind of like a full week of shows, and pretty well everything else had to get called off. So then looks like we never would have thought back then probably that it'll happen again this year but it's probably what's gonna what's gonna happen for sure but yeah you you good for one more song john you got one more in you absolutely yeah i'd love to let's see what should i do why don't don't i do that one that we were talking about with that contest there 
Yes. Um, this one's called Someone Thinks of You, and uh, yeah, this is the one that I, I mentioned uh, how we used to be able to walk around when we were kids and go out on the farm fields and stuff. And actually, the, the song mentions uh, at one time the folks had a berry farm there, the, the, Bennett, the Bennett's Berry Farm, and that was where I picked berries one summer, and that kind of inspired it. It's not really directly from about that, but it was inspired by the berries. I also mentioned strawberry wine in the song, which probably helped with the contest too, because uh, you know, because that was a big Nashville song back in whatever '97 or something like that. So, it never hurts when you're writing a country song to reference another country song. So, <laughs> so that's what I did with this one. Someone thinks of you. Look how the clock is quivers look how the time goes fast look how the years they've made a change to all the things we thought would last we can't afford to be wealthy from now on we must stick to what is kind there's really nothing that the rich man has The poor man can't hold in his mind On the far side of this small town While well, the drive-in is just closed down A dreamless picture and a dreamless sleep With black flies circling around when you've got nothing else to do, remember sometime, somewhere, someone still thinks of you. summer we worked for what joy we could find the boss let us have a radio played the one about the strawberry wine I'm glad you've chosen the good life that your children will have horses to ride I'm glad your heart has published all the great things that it used to hide. I have burned all my bad books. I've scattered my sad seeds. If there's one thing I've learned from you, it's that the conflict brings the key. When you dream in shades of blue, remember sometime, somewhere, someone still thinks of you. All right, someone thinks of you is the name of that one, folks. <laughs> Well, wow. yeah, I always, I always do that. I leave my audio off. Uh, I don't want to hear people. I don't want to hear people no. uh, hear my breathing as you're singing. So, John, I appreciate it. Uh, great catching up with you again. Um, yeah. Any final words on uh, on life? Well, I just like to say, well, thank you to to you folks for and thanks for doing this and keeping the. This is really cool, actually. The it's very it's like being on like a real like whatever on like NBC or something <laughs> right, with all the cool stuff that you got going. This is great. So thanks so much for doing that, and I hope you know I hope we can get out again soon and be in Westport again uh, when it's safe to do so. I can't wait to see people again and just you know if you're if you're tuning in tonight. And uh, you want to hear some 
Celtic music, look out for Turpin's Trail, and we'd love to see it. I can't wait to see people again. And in the meantime, thanks so much to folks like uh, like John for doing this. Uh, it's been a real pleasure being on tonight. I appreciate hey, the I, support. I, I, hey, uh, hey, John. Uh, so many great memories of you guys playing at Cottage Coffee over the years and uh, playing Pringle Palooza in Kingston, yeah. playing Pringle Palooza here in Westmore for us. And, uh, you know, my family yeah. always appreciated the the – the music and uh you chris steve kennedy and uh you know we miss that we miss that and we're looking forward to the days where we can do that again oh for sure yeah it'll be it'll be all the more sweet when we can after having this unexpected hiatus here so yeah it'll be awesome all right for sure have a great night john cynthia wants to say goodbye to you as well before we leave perfect Good night, Cynthia. Thanks so much. I can't wait to come up and have a sandwich out on the patio someday soon. Right on. Well, hopefully this summer we'll we'll see you up there. <laughs> All right. Take care, John. Thanks. Thanks to you both. Good night. Well, that was awesome having uh, John on the show. Um, yeah. <laughs> Man, uh, I think the first time I heard Crooked Woods, well, Crooked Wood, uh, was I think the first year or second year in business at the Cottage Coffee House. Um, somebody had come in and given me a CD, and they say, "Hey, I know you like Celtic music. Check out these guys." So I threw it in the CD player and I played it for a year, and then I finally made the connection that who this who they were, and uh, I got to meet uh, Chris Murphy, and eventually John McClure and 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 Steve Kennedy. And uh, stayed in touch with them all over the years. And I can remember watching those guys play back at Ducks um, in the Cove and on the patio at the Cottage Coffee House. Um, eventually, we got them playing there. And um, I went through a phase where I listened to so much Great Big C and Celtic music. I got the almost Celtic out a little bit. But uh, but if you want to see a great Celtic band, Turpin's Trail, uh, I'm only mentioning three because I really only know three of the members. But there is a, there are a few more members, uh, but I only know the three: Steve Kennedy, uh, Chris Murphy, and John McClure. And if you have an opportunity to see any of those guys together or separately, um, go um, because. There may be a day we don't get to see them. Uh, so when you have an opportunity to get out and see somebody live, um, I definitely suggest you check them out. I think we'll leave tonight with... Uh, we didn't really do a happy. Uh, like I said, happy is away this week. Um, but I think we're just going to leave it there tonight. And uh, again, uh, the Cottage Coffee House is reopening, scheduled to open on Tuesday. We may actually open up early. Uh, may actually open on Saturday, but I can't guarantee that. But we're we're aiming for a Saturday reopen. And if you haven't ordered fajitas, um, I still have a few spots left. So if you want to order fajitas, go ahead. Um, but uh, I'm not around tomorrow. So if you want to order them, do it tonight. Uh, so we have an idea of what number we're at for tomorrow. So anyway, peace, love, coffee, and we'll talk to you all next.